Hey, Skid Row Trash here. I thought I'd make a little video because there's been a whole bunch of uh, games out recently on Steam. A lot of free ones and just tons of other shit all over the place. Kind of got a whole pile of stuff dumped on it. But anyways, um, I got a couple of these games here, or three of them rather. And um, I thought I would just do a quick little video just to show, show some of these games in case anybody missed any of them. Because they're all free and all these games are fairly decent. So first up, we got a game here called You Have 10 Seconds. This is a game where you have 10 seconds to quickly look at the level. It's like a platformer game. You have 10 seconds to quickly check out the level and then depending on, well, you have to try and get to the exit. So depending if you make it or not in the time, your 10 seconds, you'll lose a life and then you'll have to restart it. But uh, there, I forget how many levels there are in this one. I think there's like 40 or 50 or something like that. But it's a, it's a short game. And it kind of got a bit buried there recently on Steam with all the other stuff. But uh, this is definitely worth giving a try. I died a few times going through it and I had to restart. But it's, uh, it's fun stuff. I like it. And there's different uh, acts too. So you don't have to beat all the levels in just one go. Anyways, this is a very small download, a nice little game. It's by a uh, developer called Tamation Games, and yeah, I just thought I would uh, mention this little game because I, I liked it. And uh, yeah, so that's You Have 10 Seconds. This next game is kind of uh, fucked up. <laughs> it's called, I don't know how you say it. It's like Moirai, Moiri, Moirai or something. Anyways, this is a kind of an unusual game. It's very nice looking. It's got giant pixels, which are always nice to look at, I think. <laughs> Sometimes, anyway. And um, it's kind of like a story game, a bit of an adventure game. It's very short, though. But for a short game, it's got a bit of a twist to it, which makes it pretty interesting. Plus, it's got it's kind of fucked up. I don't want to give away any of the story or the plot because it's so short. But I thought I would just show a little bit of it here. And yeah, the controls are shit in this game though. It's just arrow keys with space bar, or you can waz instead of the arrow keys, but I guess they didn't really need to put much time into it because it's just, you know, it's a short game. It's not, it doesn't go on forever. And um, yeah, you don't really need to put a whole lot of work into the controls as long as it goes. <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty cool. I like this one. I actually beat this game. And I think it took me like less than 10 minutes. So. Anyways, that's Moi Rai, or whatever the hell you call it. And then it's pretty fun. I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Just because the twist in it is kind of a little interesting. And that's um, developed by uh, Chris Johnson, Brad Barrett, and John Oestman. It's hard to pronounce the names. I have them written down here beside me. Anyways, uh, this one's definitely worth giving a try. So give this one a try. And up next here we have another game. This one is uh, this one's a bit longer than the other ones. I haven't beaten it yet, but it's it's not um, it's short, but it's not a, it's like it's not super short. Like the last game was super short. This one's just kind of it's compared to other games, it's short. It's very nice looking. It's got um, an art style and sound to it that kind of remind me a bit of Fez or those types of games. It's very mysterious. This is a game you have to go around and basically uncover the story for yourself. Kind of, that's what really reminds me of Fez. It all really kind of reminds me of that style of game. I don't know what you would call that. There's been a couple games like that. But anyways, it's definitely an interesting one. I haven't figured it all out yet. It's kind of... you got to do some thinking in this one. It's not just run here and run there. you got to sort of think about what you're doing and try and figure it out. But it's got, a, it's, and the art style is really neat too. It's got like pixel style, but at the same time, there's like almost like 3D rendered shit. Like waving flags or whatever. I forget what else there was. Something turning I saw somewhere. It looks really neat. It's a really neat looking game. Yeah, so anyways, that one is called Mandagon, or as I call it, Mandagon. <laughs> and um, yeah, that one is uh, it's a neat little game. I don't really know much about all of it, but it's it's cool so far from what I've seen in it. It's by a uh, developer called Blind Sky Studios. Yeah, and so these are uh, three games that are all free on Steam within the last 
I don't know, it must have been a week, maybe even less than a week, maybe like five days. They all just kind of appeared every now and then there would be another one and another one, but there's so much stuff. They're kind of pages back now. Anyways though, if anyone wants to try these, I'll leave a link in the description below. Totally free games, like I said. I think the largest one's 500 megabytes. But um, I would definitely give at least one of them a try if I were you. Why not? They're free. <laughs> and they're decent. Anyways, well, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, everybody.